Today we're going to review scatter plots and correlation. So what exactly is a scatter plot? A scatter plot is basically a graph of plotted points whose purpose is to show the relationship between two sets of data. Okay? And the purpose of that scatter plot is to allow us to see whether there's correlation. And correlation just describes the relationship between those two variables. And I like to use the word trend. So we can take two pieces of, of information, graph them on a graph, and determine whether or not they're trending together. Okay, and so we have three different choices here for how they might correlate. We could have a positive correlation, which means as our x's are going up, our y's are also going up. So notice that as we move from left to right, they're increasing. Kind of similar to a positive slope. Okay, if there's negative correlation, that means that as our x's go up, notice our y's come down, our points are falling. Just like if we would have had a line and we have a negative slope, as we move from left to right, our line is decreasing. And then sometimes we might graph some data, and the points are just random. They're all over the place. There's no obvious pattern. And that means that those two pieces of data are not trending together. There isn't a relationship there, and we call that no correlation. So let's look at an example. It says the scatter plot shows the number of hours worked and money spent on entertainment by each of 21 students. Also shown is a line of best fit for the data. So here's the graph. So they're trying to see if there's a trend between the number of hours a student works and the amount of money that they spend on entertainment. Okay. This is called the line of best fit. And the line of best fit is basically a line that we can draw through the center of the data, trying to touch as many points as possible to give it somewhat of a linear relationship for us. Okay, so let's go down here and let's see what we can answer for these questions. It says for these 21 students, as the number of hours increases, the amount of money tends to do what? Well, the more hours they work, the more money they spend on entertainment. So that would mean that they would increase. these 21 students, the correlation between the number of hours worked and the amount of money spent is, we have positive correlation, negative correlation, or no correlation. Remember we talked about that if it's increasing from left to right, that means it has a positive correlation. Okay? When one goes up, so does the other. And so lastly it says, using the line of best fit, we would predict that a student working eight hours would spend approximately blank dollars. So we want to know eight hours what they're spending. So if we were to come up here to eight hours, okay, we want to figure out about how much that's going to be. So about here. So right about in the middle of 20 and 25, so I would say approximately, I don't know, $22? All right, let's look at another example. All right, so here is another example. So this time the scatter plot shows the time spent texting and the time spent exercising by each of 24 students last week. We also have here the line of best fit going through. So it says for these 24 students, as time spent texting increases, the time spent exercising tends to decrease. So the more we text, the less we exercise. So in this case, we would be decreasing. And it says for those 24 students, the correlation between time spent texting and time spent exercising would be negative. Because remember, this line right here has a negative slope. It is decreasing. And lastly, they want us to know, using the line of best fit, we would predict that a student texting for six hours would have exercised for approximately blank hours. So if we come through here and we draw a line up through six hours, and then we draw a line. Now we're using the line of best fit. We don't want to use the point, okay? They want us to use the line of best fit to determine the time. So we don't want to go up here and look at this point and go, oh, well, six hours texting means five hours exercising. They're wanting us to determine it using the line of best fit. So we're actually going to determine this value from right here. And 
I would say that's approximately, I don't know, maybe 4.2. Again, it's approximation. So be very careful with this last one. When it says line of best fit, that means you're using the line of best fit to make your determination, not the point on the graph. And that tends to be where a lot of people will make their mistakes. So line of best fit takes in all the data here and says, okay, this is basically the trend of what's happening. And that's what we're using to determine what we would approximate this number to be. Okay. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you need additional help, please reach out to your instructor. Have a great day.